World Made Men. History shapes a persona about which stories are told. George Washington. This person is known by absolutely everyone from all four corners of the world. Not just because he was among the founding fathers of the United States of America and became its first president, but because his portrait flaunts on the banknotes of the country's currency. On the other hand, had he not been such a cool leader, America might not have become so great to the extent that its banknotes are recognizable all around the world. It all began in 1775, when several American states decided to get rid of the colonial rule of England. The young George Washington was among those who fought for the independence of the country. By the way, very soon, this guy who did not have any military education, or no actual one for that matter, became the commander-in-chief of the Continental Army of the United States, fighting for independence. Spiteful friends whispered and spread rumors that his popularity was due to the fact that he was a handsome man and fancied himself as a Roman patrician. He, however, did genuinely try to be a noble in every deed. For example, when officers who feared that the Congress would not pay them their salaries offered Washington to make him a dictator or king, he refused. Meanwhile, Caesar and Napoleon did exactly the opposite. Washington in general was a strange guy. Once he gathered all his slaves, and there were more than 100, and in one stroke granted them freedom. He might have reasoned that if you fight for the freedom of your country, then you must grant freedom to all its inhabitants. Meanwhile, his slave-owning neighbors could punish cruelly for this. But then again, he always did what he thought was right. It's a paradox, but Washington became world famous, not when he won the war for independence, but when he refused holding too much power. By the way, in 1789, in the first American election, he was elected unanimously. In 1772, he was also unanimously re-elected for a second term. But in 1797, he refused the third term. It was so unbelievable that hearing about this, the King of England, George III, said, if Washington really does this, he will be the greatest hero of our century. Just like a prophecy, it came true. Do not try this at home. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.